Hello there. Welcome. Uh, I'm Guy and uh, I'm out on my balcony so some trains going past so it might be a bit noisy. Sorry about that. Um, but I'm here to review Old Keeper. Hiya yeah, Angie. Um, so this was a whiskey I picked up in Germany when I was there. Um, it's a blended Scotch whiskey special reserve. Um, <laughs> established in 1846, the Abbey Hills. And it's a product of Scotland where I am in uh, in Glasgow. Hiya whiskey token. This is uh, this is from where you guys are from, uh, Germany. From uh, picked it up in Aldi. Uh, it's a uh, 70 CL, 40% volume. Uh, distilled and blended in the Scottish Highlands, where I was recently on a, on a wee adventure. Um, and uh, yeah, I saw it, it was seven euros. I've never bought whiskey so cheap. And I thought, I've, I've got to try it, I've got to try it. So I packed it away. Unfortunately, I injured myself when I was in Germany, so I, um, I wasn't really able to make any videos, but I'm back on it now. Um, so I was gonna, I was gonna give a wee taster here. I've got my Ockintoshin glass, and uh, I've got this wee guy with me at my feet. And uh, yeah, let's give it a try. So, sorry, bear with me while I prop this up. Whiskey glass comes in handy. Okay, so, ooh, it's not, it's not as bad as I thought. <laughs> would be um, very young um, must be a lot of three years in one day in this. Um, but there is some subtle tones of getting a little bit of honey and vanilla on it it's not too bad, let's pour it, give it a chance the sun is out in Glasgow and it's lovely I don't know where all the rest of you are from but let me know where you're watching from and uh, shout out so here we go Ooh, not getting proper, <laughs> proper smell of it. That is like nail polish, getting a lot of nail polish on it. Oh, it's grey in Edinburgh. It's always grey in Edinburgh. It's gorgeous in Glasgow. Check it out. Absolute scorch, you. Relatively, uh, relatively. Um, having to wear the glasses, having to. Otherwise, I'd be completely blinded here. Um, for anyone else. Oh, all right. Reza Wood designs in Scotland as well, good to see. <laughs> um, so, back to the whiskey, unfortunately. Nail polish, just straight up nail polish. <laughs> it's it's going to be grim. Not as like, a bit of burnt, it's a bit burnt grass on there as well. It is not, not feeling it, not feeling it. But um, let's, <laughs> let's give it a taste. But yeah, it must be very young. This is a. Uh, I would love to know the percentage of um, young. It's, uh, a lot of it's in German, so I'm not going to even attempt. But let's try. Okay. okay. Oof. <laughs> um. Yes. Still a lot of. Very young. Very very harsh. Um. There's a bit. I'm feeling like a wee bit of vanilla, a wee bit of vanilla on that, but this is, oof. Oh, it was, yeah, you should try Daniels from Germany. They come from the Haars. They do a really great job regarding, oh, mm, I've never, I didn't see any German whiskies when I was there. So I've, uh, I didn't really get out, I was working, so I didn't really get to see that much, but Old Keeper um, is uh, not a keeper. And uh, this is, oof. This is uh, this is harsh, um, really harsh and horrible on the palate. It's um, it's literally like nail polish. Like I think maybe with a a mixer it might, <laughs> might go down smoother, but no, no, it's just just grim. There's like small hints of flavour off it. It's um, blended, and it says that there's some single malts in this. I can't believe they wasted stuff on this. Um, it says supposedly some old ones, but it's got to be three years. Three years and one day maximum, I say. This is uh, this is not to be um, not to be enjoyed. More um, more mixed, perhaps. 
but I don't know for seven euros I don't know maybe maybe that's okay I don't know where you're from um hello old slugger um I think I reckon for seven euros that's not that's not horrific I wouldn't I wouldn't buy it again but for seven euros I've never seen it so cheap for the production costs and everything I don't in Scotland you couldn't buy I don't think you could buy it with our with our um, alcohol licensing rules. You couldn't buy it for that price. Um, but that is that is grim. Not getting any nice flavours at all off that. On the nose, it's it's actually better out of the bottle if that's even possible. It's better out of the bottle than it is from the glass. The smell on the nose is just so harsh. No, not a fan. Um, next, to, oh yeah, yeah. If you're coming to if you're coming to Glasgow in uh, in October, oh that'd be cool. Um, that'd be interesting to see you guys. We can chat, chat about cryptocurrency and whiskey. Two great, <laughs> two great passions. Um, and uh, I'll keep. Oh, you know what? I will keep some old keeper aside for you guys. Why token? When you come in, uh, come in October, there will be some old keeper for you. A time for bourbon joined. Hi, yeah. Hi, you guys. So I've just been reviewing um, Old Keeper for anyone who's new, which is seven euro whiskey from Germany, and uh, it is grim. Nail polish is the best description. Nice, not too bad out of the bottle. Getting some vanilla out of it. There's a wee bit of burnt grass, and um, on the nose out of this, it's just straight up straight up nail polish it's really grim must be so young and not to be enjoyed it's slow it's cheap I don't know what I was expecting um, but this if it, if anything's over five years in that I'd be surprised it must be three years and one day <laughs> two days three years and two days I reckon so I'm aging it at um, but for seven euros that's not bad um, but yeah that's the height of it guys Um also, I realise this is the first time I've had my face uh, on the Whiskey Crow. Um, I'm only part of it, but uh, I am running the Instagram. So, if you're ever asking questions or saying anything, it's me on the other end, messaging you back. Um, just in from work. You want to try some Austrian whiskey? Thomas V. Bar. Ooh, never tried Austrian whiskey. Anything you recommend? Anything I should look up? <laughs> Ooh, that is that is harsh. Austrian whiskey? No, I need to. I you taste whiskey. Yeah, no, I am. Um, I must. I must check out some Austrian whiskey. Never come across that and all. Um, I um, yeah, I've been I'm traveling a wee bit with work. It was in Germany. Unfortunately, didn't get out. I ended up in some beer gardens. That was about the height of it. Um, twelve year right Reiset Bauer. I will. I will. I will Google that. And have we look single malt we're all about the single cask here I'm assuming it's just single malt which is fine it's good it's not single cask it's not cask strength but it'll do it'll do I I can highly not recommend Old Keeper if you if you like whiskey don't drink this if you like 7 euro whiskey drink this this is amazing for 7 euros Amazing, probably the it's the best, easily the best seven euro whiskey I have ever drank in my life. Just gonna put it out there. But I can't believe um, the rest of Scotland. It's uh, it's ugly, and crowd, cloudy and grey. It's lovely here in uh, Glasgow. Um, definitely, anyone coming to Glasgow, it's the place to be. Look at those, look at those blue skies. Look at that, look at that. Scorchio. Hope everyone else is having good weather. I am going to try and drink something else because mm, that is not nice on the palate. Um, I feel bad for putting it into an Auchentoshan <laughs> um, glass. Feels bad, but gotta have something. Don't recommend Old, old Keeper, but if you're in Glasgow, maybe I'll have some have some set aside for you and we, you can have a wee dram of it and do our own review but I'm gonna go check out this uh, 12 year rice at Bauer from Thomas V Bar it looks interesting and uh, yeah I'm gonna go check out some German whiskey as well from the white token guys 
it's been nice chatting you. Um, we are getting closer and closer. Just throwing out some um, some last few bits. We've been chatting with the Glasgow Council. We're sorted with licensing and everything, um, and we're just throwing out some last minute designs. But hopefully, I'm going to be sending sending those out. We've got a newsletter, so if you go to whiskeycrowd.com, you can uh, sign up for our newsletter, and we send out some some more information on that just to keep those guys in the loop so if you want to be in the loop just sign up to that and uh, we'll have some bottle designs going out shortly and um, we're trying to keep trying to keep low costs Aya Rusiki um, trying to keep costs low obviously we want to get great whiskey low prices that's what it's all about that's what we enjoy and um, we don't want to spend a fortune on uh, on having to buy a fancy bottle when it's all about the whiskey <laughs> um, so yes cheers Slauncher, see you, taste the whiskey. Cheerio, you can catch this story. It'll be on our Instagram story for the next 24 hours. But cheers, thanks for joining us. And uh, see you, Mark.noble. We're away. All right, cheers, guys.